Hello guys, welcome to the automation tutorial. In our previous video, we have uh, seen about digital operations, arithmetic and logic operations, and uh, timer counter operation. So now, uh, next we will see about analog signal. So how we can configure analog signal in PLC? How we can take uh, input and output addressing for analog signal? So before that, we will uh, see addressing concept in PLC. So now let's start. So here we have uh, one diagram in which uh, I have uh, shown different uh, memory. So initially this input uh, memory is starting from I0.0 .0 single bits. So when uh, there is 16 bit combination, so it will be uh, total uh, one word and with two byte combination. So memory is starting from I0.0 .0 up to uh, I0.7 then it will start from I2.0 to 2.7, 3.0 to 3.7 and it will continue begin like this so here we can see a uh, two byte combination we have taken and when two byte is there means total 16 bit combinations there it will be one word so here i have taken iw0 addressing so it, it's 16 bit combination of this bit so next you can see that i have taken addressing of this analog input iw2 actually in uh, analog signals it is taking 16 bit resolutions to take uh, analog uh, input or output addressing here uh, i have assigned analog input so i will assign iw0 addressing like this next we will take iw2 because if we will take iw1 then it will be combination of these two bits so this two bytes uh, will overlap with each other so we will uh, not get proper data from the analog signal so that's why uh, we will skip one value and then take iw2 then next iw4 iw6 if we are assigning analog output the same qw0 then qw2 qw4 like this if we are assigning 32 bit resolutions in analog input or output so we will take double word so double word would be a uh, four byte combination and uh, two word combination so here iw0 and iw2 will be id zero and then next we will skip four value id4 then id8 so this memory addressing concept will be applicable for input output and memory area also so first keep the uh, range so analog signal is having two types of standard in current and voltage form so in current form it is uh, analog signal is taking 16 bit resolution so if we are converting this uh, binary into uh, decimal so total range would be uh, 32767 so we are getting this range 0 to 32000 uh, something so here we can see one graph is there uh, one chart. Uh, take this standard range in rated if we uh, go above 20 milliampere or uh, 22 milliampere so this value uh, will come in overflow or over range so PLC will not consider uh, this over range or, or overflow range uh, limit that is why uh, we will see only for 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere the rated range so that's why we will consider 0 to 27648 value same like in under range or uh, under floor uh, range we are not assigning any uh, addressing or any uh, data so we will take the standard range 4 milliampere to 20 milliampere to convert the raw value into engineering value it's called scaling so this value ra range 0 to 27648 this is uh, the raw value for the analog signal now we will convert in engineering value one uh, more question is what is engineering value so any technical person or engineer is uh, able to understand in uh, some unit uh, range so if we are talking about temperature so we are uh, understanding 0 to 100 degree celsius or 1, 0 to 1000 degree celsius if we are asking for pressure so it will be 0 to 10 bar like that or level is there so 0 to 100 feet in flow 100 liter per minute so we are understanding uh, this engineering value we are not uh, uh, understanding uh, decimal or binary uh, uh, language so we are converting this 
rho value into engineering value Th this is what we are calling scaling scaling is one type of linear equation so y is equal to mx plus c you know about uh, the scaling so we are uh, ultimately converting uh, this block into linear equation so it means s and 1200 plc uh, scaling can be done with two blocks norm x which is providing a slope and uh, uh, scale x is finally output and in s7 300 plc we are using only uh, one scaling block so it will be totally finally equation y is equal to mx plus c so now we will see how we can uh, assign in ti portal so here uh, i have taken 1200 series plc so as i have said we will use two types of block norm x block and scale x block this block you uh, you will get from basic uh, instruction so we will go for this conversion operation and from the conversion operations here you can see two blocks is there norm x and scale x or you can take empty box and just type norm x so you will get uh, norm x block from here if you want more details you can press help menu so you will get more detail so here uh, equation is there so from norm x block we are getting uh, the slope you will if you know about the slope equation so ultimately it's one type of uh, slope finding equation here are the parameters uh, how to assign this norm x block so we are giving here input iw64 because this 1200 plc input analog input addressing is starting from uh, iw64 that we came to know from this uh, input output addressing so here you can see two types of uh, analog signal is there iw64 and 66 i here i want to send iw64 so here i have given iw64 this analog value and uh, this minimum and maximum range of the raw value this value we are getting in real data type 32 bits so that's why i have assigned uh, memory double word to store the data this data once again we will put in scale x block so scale x block is final equation for linear so this equation is ultimately y is equal to mx plus c so here i have converted this scaling into 0 to 100 uh, maximum range that range uh, you can uh, change as per your application or uh, demand so here i will assign this md uh, md10 and finally uh, scale output will get from mw25 this scaling value you can use in any applications you can move this value to scada hmi or uh, further application so here you can see this analog value is changing here and according to uh, linearly the scaling output will change so standard range is uh, 4 to 20 20 milliampere here uh, i have used uh, voltage port so i am giving a plus or minus 10 voltage here uh, exactly we are not getting plus 10 voltage so that's why it will uh, vary uh, from 27648 so it is going uh, beyond limit so that's why uh, i am not getting exactly scaling but first you need to calibrate the this port and then assign this maximum range so you will get uh, exactly scale output here so this is how we can uh, use scaling in plc and you can use analog signal for uh, for the replication you can use for comparison operation and uh, you can make logic as per your requirement Thank you for watching the video.